Hello everyone. In this presentation we are going to talk about the Child Computer Interaction Database, Tasks and Video Demonstration. This work has been carried out by Ruben Tolosana, Juan Carlos Ruiz Garcia, Ruben Vera Rodriguez, Jamie Herreros Rodriguez, Sergio Romero Tapiador, Ithami Morales and Julian Fierez, members of the BIDA Lab from Autonomous University of Madrid and University Hospital Infanta Leonor. This work aims at generating a better understanding of the cognitive and neuromotor development of children, as well as enabling new applications in e-learning and e-health. One of the main contributions of this study is a first release of our own database, Child CIDBV1. This is the largest publicly available dataset to date for research in this area with 438 children in the ages from 18 months to 8 years old. In addition, some of the aspects considered in the acquisition process of the dataset by children are interaction with screens using both finger and pen stylus, children's emotions and grades, among many others. In particular, the acquisition process comprises seven different tests grouped in three main blocks. In the first block, the main goal is to capture the emotional state of the children during the acquisition process. After the end of the first block, it starts the second block focused on the analysis of the children's motor and cognitive skills using their own finger as a tool. Finally, after the end of the second block, it starts the third block aimed to analyze the ability of the children using the pen stylus. In order to show the different ways in which a task can be completed depending on the age of the children, during the rest of this video the examples shown for each test correspond to three different children age group. The first block comprises only one test in which three faces with different colors and facial expressions were represented on the screen, asking the children to touch one according to their emotional state using the finger as input for a maximum time of 10 seconds. The second block comprises four different tests with different levels of difficulty to see the ability of the children to perform different hand gestures and movements, with a maximum time of 30 seconds to complete each one. In the first test of the second block, the goal is to touch one mole at a time in order to see the ability of the children to perform tap gestures and their reaction times. Once the mole is touched, it disappears from that position and appears in another position of the screen. In total, four different moles must be touched for the end of the test. In the second test of the second block, the goal is to touch the carrot and swipe it to the rabbit. This test is designed to see the ability of the children to perform drag and drop gestures, in order to facilitate the comprehension of the test and motivate the children, an intermittent blue arrow is shown in the screen until the children touch the carrot. In the third test of the second block, the goal is to enlarge the rabbit and put it inside the two red circles for a short time. This test is designed to analyze the ability of the children to perform scale-up gestures using two fingers, in order to facilitate the comprehension of the test. Two intermittent outer arrows are depicted until the children touch the surface close to the rabbit and no displacement of the rabbit along the screen is allowed. Finally, in the fourth test of the second block the goal is very similar to the previous test but, in this case children have to perform scaled-down gestures. This kind of tests are designed to analyze the precision of the motor control of the children when trying to put the rabbit inside the two red circles. This is the last test of the second block which is related to the children touch analysis. After this, it starts the third block aimed to analyze the ability of the children using the pen stylus by means of two different tests. In the first test of the third block, the goal is to go across the spiral from the inner part to the outer part, trying to keep it always in the area remarked in black color. The maximum timer set up for this test is 30 seconds. Lastly, in the second test of the third block, the goal is to color the top and trunk of the tree in the best way possible trying to filling it completely and draw always inside the area remarked in black color, with a maximum time of 2 minutes. After this last test, ends the third block and the acquisition process. This slide concludes our presentation. Many thanks for your time. If you want to know more about the topic, please take a look of this reference or visit our public database.